hope you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Becker. If this is the first time on my channel, you are definitely welcome. I know I'm in a different space, but there was just a fight that ensued between Tasha and Messi right about now. Oh my god. I don't understand. I don't know what caused the fight, but I just saw Messi and Tasha, you know, just going against one another. Because I was actually in the gym working out, which I'm going to bring the video to you guys, by the way. But I really saw them fight, and I'm like, okay, you know what? This gym needs to wait. Your girl has to find out what's going on, okay? And I go close to the TV, and they are fighting. I just hear Messi telling Tasha that she stinks. You stink. Go and treat your body odor first before you can talk to me. And Tasha was telling Messi that she's a fake ass girl who travels from one country to another to sleep with men. You know, they were just opening their nash on national TV. And I'm like, what would have caused this fight? Guys, it wasn't like they just had like a misunderstanding and just exchanged words. So the quarrel actually started from the lounge. You know, they were going against one another. Just when I thought they were going to end it there, guys, they did not. Messi now put her hair in Tasha's face. Tasha then pulled Messi's head. And why would you be putting your hair in my face? What kind of nonsense is that? Messi did it the second time. She put her hair in Tasha's face again. And Tasha was like, why would you put your hair in my face? And she pulled the hair. Before we go close her open her, Messi don't carry pressing iron. So she won't knock Tasha for her. Though. Tasha said carry bottle. So she will break for Messi head. If not that the guys came to the rescue, it would have been a disaster. Oh my god. Like, I can't believe these two people would actually do this. I know that they've never been friends in the house. They always try to give one another their space and all of that. But I never knew that it was going to get to the part where they would fight, like physically. And personally, I'm so upset with Cindy because it was Cindy that instigated this fight. I don't know what it is that started the fight, but Cindy made it worse. Okay, because after Messi and Tatcha had insulted themselves to a point, Tatcha then left. Then Messi called Tatcha stupid. Then Cindy now went to Tatcha to tell her that Messi called you stupid. And you guys know Tatcha. Tatcha will not let it slide. Tatcha came back and that's when two of them started dragging it. And the nonsense Cindy girl was there drinking tea and laughing. And Fred was telling her, Cindy, you know you are the one that instigated this fight. And she was like, she knows though that if she had known, she would have just kept quiet. You know that these two people are hot tempered. Yes, you went ahead to instigate it. Now you are saying rubbish. Thank God the girl has been evicted. Vicky called Shay into the diary room and handed him a scroll. And the scroll read that there will be visitors in the house this morning. And before we knew what was going on, Ebuka came into the house. Obviously, when Ebuka comes like this, then something is up. There's fire on the mountain. You know, so the housemates gathered in the lounge. And then Ebuka now made the announcement that Cindy has been evicted from the Big Brother Niger show. Guys, I do not know. The whole mood has been heightened. Even me, myself, I left my gym. Guys, they are doing training inside that place. But I had to run outside to tell you people this. Okay, so I really do not know. Cindy is out, but let's watch out for Big Brother's judgment on Tatcha and Messi's fight because Biggie is really, really upset. You can even tell from his voice. Like, Jesus, just one week plus to the end of the game, and these people could not control themselves, calling themselves Ashewo on national TV, saying that this one stinks, this one is many. You go and treat your body odor, you, you stink too. This one, that I'm like, jeez. And guys, let me even tell you who the funny part. When this whole fight was going on, Shay and Fred were sitting there with them in the dressing room. But two of them no pull mouth at all at all. The girls just they abuse themselves. Then if Messi says something, Shay will take a point. If Tasha says something, Fred will take a point. Like two of them were now acting as the judges for the fight. I don't understand. And even Diane was standing by the door there, just looking. Nobody just grip put mouth. If not that they carried iron and bottle. Nobody for pull mouth for this fight. And I don't get it. This just goes to show that the housemates have been expecting Tasha and Messi to fight for a very long time. I hope so they don't be full now. Guys, I need to go back to train, okay? I just really need to tell you guys what just happened right now so that you will be abreast of the happenings in Biggie's house, okay? Whatever else happens, I'm going to be sure to bring it to you guys maybe later this evening or tomorrow morning. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.